Welcome back to All Real Estate All the Time with Whitney Nicely, where we teach you the foundation of real estate investing for profits. Now, here's Whitney. All right, we are finishing up on contracts, and a lot of times contracts, that's a like dirty word. It's kind of like the F word. You know, people don't want to say contracts. It's they don't want scary. to say foreclosure. It's it's heavy. So I teach my ladies to say paperwork. We're just going to get this paperwork signed. You know, it's very legal. It's very technical, but it's just paperwork, you know, and it, just, it even says contract at the top, but they're like, oh, it's paperwork. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I have, I'll tell you right now that I have a lady that started in August. So August 1st, and we're what, the third week of August now. She went out last week and she has a duplex so two units under one roof under contract and you know what else came with this duplex what eight acres holy cow so for one lump sum she bought eight acres and a duplex and they touch which tells me that if the acre this duplex is on is zoned for a duplex then either those eight acres are also zoned for a duplex or it'd be really easy to make it zoned for a duplex that is awesome so if you have one duplex on one acre you could put eight on eight acres 16 18 we're talking 18 units right now that's crazy and she can sell she can keep that duplex and sell off those eight acres to a developer who will probably pay her way more than she paid for the duplex to start with so she'll be cash flowing in no time they can take on all the overhead of building those duplexes or getting a zone for bigger apartments or whatever or she can make it one big deal to have nine acres including the standing duplex and let them deal with it. I just think it's a no-lose situation. Like, I'm so excited for her. That is really exciting. And, you know, what's also really cool is she started August the 1st. We're talking three weeks into August. She's got a contract on a duplex and eight acres for, I mean, a racehorse deal. Like, no matter how you do any kind of formula, she's making money. Like, immediately, as soon as she gets it under contract. And I know when you get started, you're kind of scared. You're really scared about that first deal. And that's what holds a lot of ladies back. And what's cool about working with me and my program, it's not just that I give you these videos and I give you this homework and I give you this stuff. I am very active in what my students are doing. Like that's why I only take a certain number every month so that I can kind of keep my thumb on it. I can either push you to send me more lead sheets or I can push you to go get that contract signed. Don't dilly dally around, go get it done. I want to see you make some money. And that's what I really want. I really want people to be successful. I want the ladies to realize that they that real estate is not scary. And it is only as complicated as you make it. And if you can shorten it down and I can explain it to you in very regular terms, how easy it is to start making big money, more women are going to get involved. And that can only bring up the whole economy and the whole world, really, and yeah. make everybody's life easier because when mama ain't happy ain't nobody happy <laughs> there you go and a happy wife makes a happy life right adam indeed <laughs> so if your wife's bringing in a couple extra grand a month it's just got to make her happier she's more satisfied and that just makes everybody happier she's Absolutely. not worried about anything and that that's what i really try to instill in the ladies i give them that confidence that they need to and you can ask me questions. You can send me leads. We have a private Facebook group that I'm in every day, giving out assignments, giving out homework, giving out tips, giving out all sorts of, you know, information once you get into my program. And that's a big deal because you learn so much from other people, again, with the teamwork. Like, even if you might not know what to ask, but other people are asking questions and you can read their questions. You're like, oh, I don't even know enough to ask that question. Like, <laughs> wow, I just learned a ton from watching other people talk. So... It's really valuable. <laughs> and Ashley's talking about, um, we have a group called Women Making Money in Real Estate on Facebook. Women Making Money in Real Estate. Because I like hanging out and talking with other women making money in real estate. So if you're a fella, I'm sorry, you cannot come into the group. Uh, I'm not even really sorry. It's actually. all pink. You don't want to be there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about real estate and making money. But it's a fun friendly atmosphere where there's lots of ladies asking lots of real estate questions and you know we're not even really passing deals back and forth we're passing knowledge back and forth which could lead to a bigger badder deal like the other day we were talking about tax sales mm -hmm. a lot of ladies don't understand about tax sales and i've bought some stuff at tax sales and you can buy that stuff pretty cheap too but there's also very there's a lot of intricacies and i know ladies that are in my program right now and they chose me because they were considering joining a tax sale program. And I explained to them, 
basically what the hook is in that and then I could teach them that in one hour in my program instead of paying somebody else for just to get on an email list it's crazy yeah it's crazy (laughs) the real estate gurus out there make me want to bang my head against a wall and most of them are men (laughs) that's true I think ladies learn better from another lady and that's why my program is tailored towards women what's something else that you've either learned or that you know a lot of my clients ask so to get started, do I need a real estate license to be able to buy houses and stuff? Or do I just, just I wish, go at it? Sometimes I wish the radio show was filmed so that you could see my gigantic eye roll. When people it was huge. That. <laughs> <laughs> you do not need a real estate license. Last night or Thursday night, somebody texted me, sent me a Facebook message because I'm always talking about real estate on Facebook and I'm very social. I pretty much live on Facebook. And I'm talking about real estate. So somebody sent me a message and I say this all the time. So I don't know why they said this to me again, but they said, Hey, I'm thinking about getting a real estate license. And I was like, that's great. Why do you want a real estate license? He was like, so I can buy houses. It's always the men that ask the dumb questions. Have you noticed that? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Totally (laughs) kidding. But he did. He said, you know, do I need a real estate license to start being a real estate investor? And I'm like, no, anybody over 18 can sign a contract on a real estate deal. It's just a piece of property just like uh i'm gonna go over here and buy this car absolutely yeah okay cars have a bill of sale and properties have deeds that's it same thing and being a real estate agent because i'm the broker for winning buys houses because i like licenses and if you just like licenses then yeah go get it but a lot of people don't realize the money the investment that it takes to get a real estate license and the overhead that it takes to keep a real estate license and the education and all this other stuff and that stuff isn't bad but what you're going to learn in real estate school is how to protect yourself as a real estate agent they're going to teach you how many uh square feet are in an acre it's like forty-five thousand or something so you don't even know Check. Forty-five thousand <laughs> something there that's the best thing you're going to learn in two weeks of real estate school is how many square feet are in an acre they'll tell you how many feet are in a mile you can google that i don't even know that and they're going to teach you how to pass the real estate test to get a license so you can pay more fees and so you can have more insurance i just if you want to be a real estate investor save that two or three thousand dollars that it would take to get a real estate license and that you know three months of your life filling out forms and getting stuff collected and just go buy a piece of property with that you will learn more hands-on in the real estate world as an investor if your ultimate goal is to be an investor now if you always had a hopes and dreams of having your name on a real estate sign that says you know now pending if that's what your whole life is about then get a real estate license and join one of the local teams and knock it out of the park but if you want to be a landlord or you just want to buy and sell houses or you want to flip houses save that three thousand dollars in three months of your life and spend it on real estate You do not need a real estate license. It does not give you a leg up. The connections you make are not gonna help you. You you might get maybe some uh, pocket listings if somebody in your office has something, but the way I'm gonna teach you to find off-market properties, you're not gonna need those pocket listings. You're gonna, you know, see that you're not making enough money on those to even fool with them. So no, you do not need a real estate license (laughs) to be a real estate investor. In fact, at the Knoxville Real Estate Investor Association meetings, the Knoxria meetings, there's 70 people in the room. And I think about 15 of them have a license to be a real estate professional, which is crazy to me because if I was a regular real estate agent and I depended on people who were buying and selling real estate, I would be at meetings of people who were wanting to buy and sell real estate, right? Yeah. The agents that are there are real estate investors. They just happen to have a real estate license. So it, it's it's kind of crazy to me that there's not regular agents there or more property managers there that are looking for people that have real estate and don't want to deal with it anymore. Yeah. Or wholesalers. I think they should all be there. Everybody. So if you want to be a real estate investor, be a real estate investor. If you want to learn how to be a real estate investor, I will be glad to teach you. Okay. You can go to what is all about REI.com. That's all about REI.com. And REI is real estate investing, real estate investors, and real estate investments. So I'm all about REI all the time. 
and fill out the application. I'll send you a link so you can get on my calendar. We can talk, make sure you have the same goals that I'm going to have for you and make sure that I can get you to cash flowing in a real estate portfolio in 12 weeks or less. Like that's what I really want for every woman out there. And so if your wife needs this, send her to allaboutrei.com. If you're girlfriend if your daughter if you have a strong woman in your life and she has a strong desire to make more money and not clock in for it <laughs> definitely send her to all about rei.com or have her join our facebook group women making money in real estate we have tons of fun in there and even if you have zero real estate experience we would love to have you because just being around other women making money in real estate, you get that it's urge. Contagious. You get that, you know, <laughs> it's so fun and it's pink in there and we're asking questions and we have this awesome retreat coming up in November. I can't wait. Oh, I'll tell you about that when we get back. Like, it's just going to be amazing. And speaking of women making money in real estate, my mama <laughs> taught me how to make money in real estate, but she also taught me how to make money in real life. And she does that with a truck company. It's Walker's Truck Contractors. They have gravel, will travel. They also haul dirt and sand. Call them at 933-0225.